talk about production. Health. The central factor in health is a human being. Most of us in this day and age, there is more interest in products, in techniques, in procedures, in healthcare than focusing on the human If you look at the word human being, <coughs> the two words, human being. Today's health is dealing with the human and they will not be. What's the difference? The human is a visible part of us. The being is an invisible part of us. And I know symphony tree is dealing a lot with energy products, right? Energy basically deals with the being. But being is so intangible, so tricky, so elusive that it's not easy to learn about it. It's not as if trying to catch the mind of a person and analyze it. You can't do that. That part I will leave to your boss. Deal with the being with your special products, right? You all have energy products. When it comes to human, <coughs> the cardinal truths are one, nobody is the same in terms of we are, we are talking about inherited. Nobody gets the same genetic imprint. Even the twins, there will be some. Second thing, nobody goes through the same life process. So every individual has its own health destiny. One is fixed through the genes, the other one, how you deal with your life. Third thing is luck. There is an element of luck in life of accidents. Bad luck is going to accident and lose your life. So, we have the genetics, which is different, the life process, which is different, and the field, which is different. Why I'm saying this? We have to come into terms with the reality that health is not the same for everyone. Individual variation is the reality. Now, where does this come? <coughs> this comes in in the life process, not in the gene. You cannot use biospectra to manipulate it. But you can use a product to keep your body, which you have inherited with various genetic strength, to the best possible optimum balance if you get a product which can balance your body. Even then, your lifestyle limits them. Notwithstanding that, putting that lifestyle all aside, when you want to talk about body, how you maintain the body is by respecting it through good lifestyle and balancing the biochemicals, which is about 7,000 kilojoules. This is the special, the revolution is talking about. It is no more the traditional pharmaceutical theory of theory, we call it the uh, <coughs> doctrine of signatures. One chemical for one pharmacological process or effect. Like blood pressure, a drug to slow down the heart rate so that the pressure drops. That's one way of looking at science. We here, we see the human being as a total organic entity changing moment to moment and finding ways and means which is the best product to give him so that his biochemicals are balanced, resulting in optimum physiology. Physiology means every process in the body works at optimum. So the research which I did was to find out in nature which product contains the highest and the broadest range of bioactive principles that can cover the 7,000, taken on a regular basis without causing any harm to the body. 
So in the process of sitting, meditating, praying and asking God to show, that's how we came to the seeds. If you compare a seed with a multivitamin, take a seed and a multivitamin, 19 products, five or six principles in a multivitamin with minerals. A seed will have hundreds. But the difference is the quantum is very small. Parts per million. The wisdom behind that is we have to ask nature. Nature's wisdom has put that quantum into the seed. And nature has got the power and wisdom to create our lives. So I'm sure we have to trust nature on that. So we take the seed, then which seed to select? Next question in the research. Seeds which have been consumed by human beings for ages without any problem. So I went into Okay. <coughs> Sometimes we take for granted seeds. Which seeds? Durian seeds? the longest in the history of mankind and the safest and has become part of the food for daily consumption. Next step in the research, what does the seeds contain inside? Because we have been eating it, we just look at the seed, it's so simple that we are a complicated thinking mind, we only look for complicated high technology science. We sometimes hit brush aside, see it's so simple as that. But if you take a, a vitamin and a seed, you analyze the seed is so much more rich, more complex than any vitamin you can bring, any kind of products you can extract and take up. The seeds which we took, spices, beans and cereals, <coughs> because when you are a conscientious researcher, you are always very serious about safety. You must make sure whatever you take is safe. So we have to see. choose the edible things. Then, if so many people have been taking seeds, then why you want to develop a formula? But my research shows in our ordinary food, the full spectrum is not always there. Second thing, the full spectrum must be given on a regular basis. This is where it is. Now how do we know our food is not as good as a full spectrum? What indicators we use to research? The frequency of illness. The intensity and the gravity of the illness indicates the strength of the population. Okay. If you don't get flu for six years, you have been taking that product and don't get flu and fever and other problems, we are achieving something. Like me, I've been, I've been the first guinea pig for this product, no? <laughs> you want guinea pig, I'm the first guinea pig. <laughs> I've not got a flu, a cold infection, viral infection, 